Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be chatting all about my favorite nude lip colors. So I have all of my favorite lip liners, glosses, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, pretty much a little bit of everything. I have drugstore and high-end, mostly drugstore. I would say probably like 80% of these are drugstore lip combos, which makes me very happy. These are my go-to. So I actually did a video like this last year and this is basically like an extension to that video because I still love all of the ones that I mentioned and I still wear a lot of those to this day. But obviously I have new favorites that I wanted to update you guys on because I'm obsessed with nudes. I wear these all the time on camera, off camera, on Instagram, whenever I'm filming like talking videos. I'm wearing one of these lip combos. So I wanted to share with you guys my favorites. Obviously these are going to be nudes on my skin tone. So they're going to look different on everybody if you're darker, tanner, if you're lighter, more fair. But that's why I wanted to film this video today and not natural light so you guys can see the true colors of each of the shades because I am going to swatch them on my lips and on the back of my hand so you guys can see the actual color. But a lot of the brands that I'm talking about today have lots of variety as far as colors within their brand. But obviously the colors that I chose today work with my skin tone. So just a little FYI, these are nudes for me. I know they're not going to be nude for everybody, but hopefully again, you guys can find something that you like or something within the brand that could work for you in your skin tone. I hope you guys enjoy this video. We have a lot to go through, so we're just going to jump into it. So get cozy, grab a snack and let's get into it. So I'm gonna start with lip liners and then I think I'll do glosses and then lipsticks and then liquid lipsticks. So let's get started. Starting off, I have the Milani Understatement Lip Liners. So I actually love Milani lip products in general. I think that they're amazing. And these were a new discovery to me a few months back. I love their traditional lip pencils that they have. They're just like wooden, you sharpen them. They're great, super creamy. They have a bunch of colors. So then when I saw these, I was actually a little skeptical because I typically don't love retractable lip pencils a lot of them tend to break they don't last a really long time and I typically don't love the formula but these are amazing they are super creamy they don't break and these two colors are perfection so the first color that I have is called cafe Olay number 160 this is just like that perfect everyday neutral nude shade on me it's great because it's not too light and it's not too dark and it's not too pinky because I don't really like something that's a little bit too pink so I feel like this is kind of like that perfect in between color love it on its own I love to fill in my entire lips with it and just do like a gloss over top or a lipstick as well. And then I also really love the shade Saucy Toffee. Saucy Toffee is great because it's more of a brown. Mixing it, it's beautiful. I also really like it again on its own if you want to do maybe more of like an ombre kind of lip with the darker lip liner and a lighter lip color in the center. I think this is a great lip color for that. Again, it's super creamy. It's great for filling in your lips and overlining. It's just, it's a great formula. These are just, they glide on the lips and they're very comfortable. Let's talk about NYX. NYX has some really great lip liners. The NYX Suede Matte Lip Pencils. These are incredible because they're, first of all, they're $4, which is like insane. They're great because they also are a wooden formula and they're matte, but they still glide on the lips. And I think that they're great for being super precise. If you want to really get in there and overline your lips, emphasize your cupid's bow, these are great. Lip liners always, I feel like, make your lip color last so much longer. And these are a great formula for that. My favorite colors are Sandstorm and London. Sandstorm is a little bit more of a cool tone kind of pinky beigey nude. I really like it whenever I'm doing something more smoky or I just want to keep my eyes very simple. I just, I love like that little bit of pink that it has to it, but it's nothing crazy again, cause I'm not crazy about pink. So this is like that perfect in between shade. And then I love the shade London cause it's more of like a peachy kind of nude beige shade. So it's less cool tone, a little bit more warm, but it's great. It's a great color again, great formula. And this is a good matte formula. So if you're not into anything super shiny or like with a cream finish, you will love these because it's a true matte formula but it's very easy to work with and it's not drying so I love these and then I also wanted to shout out the shade cold brew which I feel like is a great brown that could work with a lot of different skin tones I think brown lips are so in and I used to hate brown lip colors on me but now I'm obsessed but this is a really beautiful true brown that I feel like you could use mixing it in with other lighter nudes to make it more wearable and obviously the shade cold brew is very vampy on me but I still wanted to mention it because what's vampy on me could be lighter on somebody else and I feel like brown can still be very wearable or if you're a tanner and you're looking for like a good brown I think this is great and again the formula is just amazing you guys have to try them they're so good I also wanted to shout out their traditional lip pencils so these are also wooden but they're not matte they're just like natural on the lips so the first color that I have is actually a newer discovery I just started using it like last week but I am obsessed with it it's so good it's called new truffle and it's just like a more cool tone kind of brown neutral shade but it is so beautiful this is again another cool tone shade but I really really 
really like the way that it looks, especially when you fill in your entire lips with it. I think it's just like that kind of perfect fall nude shade because it's a little bit darker than like a typical like lighter nude, but it's not like a true straight up like chocolate brown. So it's very wearable and I love this on its own and also paired with another lipstick over top. And then Nude Beige is just a classic for me. This one is a little bit more cool tone than the one that I just mentioned. It has a little bit less brown and a little more of like a mauve -y kind of undertone, which I think is beautiful also in the fall time. So yeah, NYX lip pencils, if you've never tried them, you are missing out and you need to go right now to Target, Ulta, Walmart and pick them up because they are my favorite and they're so cheap. Like, I don't know how they do it, but like, I'm not mad about it. If you know me, you knew this was coming. So I had to shout out my e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Kit. I am obsessed with this and I wish this would be a permanent line. I, I don't think that it is. I feel like it's limited edition. Most of their collections like this are. But you guys, please go out and get these lip liners while you can. They are so good. So I have a fresh lip kit right here and then I have the lip liners right here because I love it that much. So you get four lip liners with them. You get two browns, one pinky nude, and then one hot pink, and then a gloss. The gloss is universal. It's like a clear with a bunch of like shimmer in it. So it's a great topper gloss The only downside to this is that I do wish the lip liner was like a red I feel like that would be a little bit more universal versus pink I don't really wear pink lips like once in a while if I want to be bold in the summer But like in general, that's not a color that I go to but I still think the entire lip kit is worth it Because even if you don't use the pink you still get three other lip liners and a lip gloss for ten bucks Like you literally cannot beat that. I love these lip pencils. I wear them all the time I'm wearing them today. They don't have names directly on them. The names are on the back. I love the shade Nude 02 and Nude 03. And Nude 01 is pretty too. It's like a soft pink. I'm not crazy about pink, but this is actually a really wearable light nude pink, which I think is beautiful. If you're doing something maybe like date night or you want just something pink, this is a good lip pencil. These are also wooden. Basically, they're like the NYX lip pencils. The colors are just a little bit different. Super creamy. They are matte, but they are great for outlining your lips or overlining. So Nude 01 is great, but Nude 02 and Nude 03, these are everything to me. They are the perfect beigey toned brown. So Nude 02 is great because it's a more like beigey toned brown, but it's not super, super brown. So it's a great everyday color for me. I mix this a lot with darker browns just to make the other like darker browns a little bit more wearable on my lips. For instance, I will mix this in with the shade Nude 03 and I think it is perfection. I love doing ombre lips with these and I don't know, just something about them. They're just, they're amazing. So if you're into like those brown kind of beigey tones, you will really like these. These are true brown. There's no pink in these and it's a super great formula to work with. Very easy, very creamy. I love them. So I'm trying to do like all drugstore, all high end, but I don't think it's going to work out that way in today's video, but I will categorize everything in the description box, drugstore and high end, if you guys want to like check them out separately. But let's talk about these. I mean, this isn't really super high end to me. It's kind of like in the middle, like pricing wise, but these are from Olimar Cosmetics. So Olimar is such a cute brand. I love all of their products. Their lip pencils are so good. Also very creamy. These are a little bit less matte and a little bit more creamy, but not necessarily shiny on the lips. It's just like that great like go-to kind of natural lip liner. I really love the shade Dulce. I wear this all the time. I actually have backups of this in my collection because I love it that much. This to me is just like that classic go-to color. It looks good with any lipstick. It looks good mixed with a gloss and it's a really creamy formula to the point where you could just use this on its own. The formula of these is actually very similar to the ColourPop lippy pencils which I love as well. These are just great. The finish is great. The formula is great and I love this color and then I also really like this shade called Coqueta which is really nice because it's a brown. So again, it could work with different skin tones. If you're darker, tanner, deeper, I think this would be beautiful on you and I think you would really love this formula. So the shade Coqueta is definitely super dark and vampy. It's almost like a brown, kind of red brown on my skin tone personally. But I like to outline my lips with this in the fall and then kind of dab in the product around with my finger and then fill in the rest of my lips with a lighter nude shade and I feel like it's so beautiful. It's obviously very deep. You can get it to be super intense, but I think it is is very wearable of course obviously if you're much darker than me if you're tanner it could be a really great brown red nude so this Alamar cosmetics lip liner in coqueta is very similar to the nyx lip pencil in cold brew that i talked about earlier but the finishes of these are a little bit different the one from nyx is definitely more matte whereas the one from Alamar definitely is a little bit more creamy and has more of like a cream finish to it it's not going to be super shiny but it's obviously not matte like the nyx one so very similar colors just different finishes but they're both really beautiful browns like i said everybody needs a good brown lip liner and I feel like these are both 
perfection. Okay, now let's get into some glosses. So I have here the Ardell Vinyl Mix-In Lip Lacquers. So these are basically like a very pigmented lip gloss. So it's kind of like a liquid lipsticks, but it's not drying. It's like very glossy. So it's like thicker than like a regular lip gloss, but it's like more lightweight than a liquid lipstick because you have a shine to it. If you don't like liquid lipsticks, but you like something glossy and really pigmented, you will love these. So I have two shades here. I have Soft Touch and Kinky Nude. Over top of my lip combo today, I'm wearing Soft Touch and I love these so much. They are so comfortable. They're not sticky. It's just like such a beautiful, really pigmented gloss that I feel like looks really beautiful just over top of a lip liner. And then you throw this on and you're good to go. These are in my purse a lot because I love to touch up with these throughout the day and just add them on. I think they're a perfect addition to really any lip color that you have. So the shade Soft Touch is just like that classic kind of brown beigey nude. I really like it because they aren't super sticky. Again, they're very comfortable even though they are so pigmented. I feel like with one swipe, you're good. You get that true color and what you see in the tube is what you get on your lips. So it's very true to color in that sense. And then I love the shade Soft Touch. This one is a little bit lighter than what I have on today, Kinky nude. It's more of like a pinky again. And I hate to say pink because I feel like I just mentioned that I don't really love pink, but this has a little bit of like a pink undertone, but it is still beige, but nothing crazy. It's more mauve -y, It's more cool tone. And I think it's beautiful just again with anything. I just feel like it gives you the perfect finish and shine to your lips without being too much. Let's talk about the Elf Retro Paradise Gloss. I believe you can buy this on its own. I'm not really sure. I know that it's been sold out like everywhere online. Check out Target. That's where I've been seeing it at my local Target. And I'm telling you it is so worth it. But yeah, the gloss that comes with it, I think you can buy this separate. This one is called A Moment and it's just like a clear lip gloss. Mine doesn't look clear because I use it with like everything as well. But it's a good universal gloss that has a ton of glitter in it and shimmer. So it's perfect over pretty much anything. You could even put this on over top of like a bold lip color if you wanted to. I also wanted to mention the e.l.f. lip lacquer. This is such a pretty topper gloss that I feel like almost makes your lips look really glossy and like as if you put a little bit of highlighter in the center of your lips. It's so pretty. Pretty. It's not glittery. It's not chunky. It's super smooth. It's not sticky. And then I also have the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. So you guys know I love the clear lip gloss, which is called Behind the Scenes from Essence. It's just a clear universal lip gloss. It's like three bucks. But this one is actually a newer discovery for me. And this is also beautiful. This one's in Let It Go. And I really like this one because it's more of like a peachy nude. So it is beautiful, again, on its own or over top of anything if you want to just take it to like the next level. It's so shiny so wet and so juicy and it doesn't have a ton of color to it so it's a very light kind of very peachy tint as you can see it's like barely there it gives like the perfect little flush to your lips which I love next up I wanted to talk about the NYX butter glosses I have loved these since high school for years they are so perfect the formula is great I love all the colors that they have and these are my two favorites so I have fortune cookie and Madeline so fortune cookie is a great center shade I really like this whenever I want to do again that ombre kind of lip or if I ever want to just tone down any darker lip color that I have going on that's a little bit too brown. Fortune Cookie is great. If you've never tried butter glosses, honestly, like, what are you doing? They smell so good and they're just a great formula. It's just like that classic OG gloss for me that I have used for so long. And then Madeline is just a great all around shade that you can use all over your lips. Madeline is such a pretty natural color. It's great even by itself as well. It's kind of like a little bit like your lips are better. It's this really natural color. It's not that much darker than my natural lip color, which I think is perfect perfect for every day. These are so lightweight. They're not really thick or sticky on the lips at all. So they are very everyday friendly. They're a little bit less thick than the Ardell lip lacquers that I talked about. So it's not really like a lip lacquer. It's definitely a gloss with some pigment to it, but it's not super crazy thick, which I love. I also really love the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. So I like these because it's not like the Too Faced lip injections, which I hate, by the way. Those literally sting and burn my lips. I don't know why anybody would like that the feeling, to be honest, it literally feels like your lips have been stung by bees, which this doesn't really plump my lips. It's just a good lip gloss, to be honest. It's minty. It smells good. It looks good. It's a really light baby pink, but like in the best way possible. I love this on its own. It has so much shine to it. It makes your lips look super juicy, very wet. And this one's in the shade 01 Champagne, almost like a barely there kind of shade, but it is perfect. It's like almost as light as the Fenty gloss bombs where the tint is like so light that I feel like it could work with anybody. Dupe alert. I talked about this in my dupes video actually about a month ago. 
though, but the ColourPop Luxe Gloss in the shade Come Through. Such a great dupe for the original Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. Those are my favorite glosses, but this is like the next best thing to it. It is the perfect your lips but better shade. This is one of those colors that you could just throw on by itself with like no lip liner, nothing. You're just like running out the door. You're doing like a really natural everyday makeup look. You put this on it's perfection. The color is almost identical to the Fenty one, to be honest. This is the closest dupe that I have found to the Fenty ones. I've tried many and I feel like this is the best as far as the formula, the smell, the color, everything about it is very fruity. It's literally just like the Fenty one. This is another color that I feel like could be universal for everybody because it's not like too much of a tint. It's not, it's just perfect. Try it out. You'll see what I'm talking about. Also, I wanted to shout out another Olimar Cosmetics lip product. Their glosses are really good. So these are a little bit sticky, but they are very long wearing. So the shade Divina has been one of my go-to glossy brown lip colors. It is so pretty on the lips. It's a great addition to any lip liner So they do a good job at prolonging anything that you have underneath whether it's a lip liner or a liquid lipstick or something I think these are so beautiful so pigmented I love this gloss too because it's like brown But it also has a little bit of like an orangey kind of warm undertone Which I think is so beautiful for fall for any time really but it's definitely a great fall brown glossy nude lip color It's just such a good brown I don't know what's up with me and browns because I used to hate brown on my lips, but Lately, I love like a good like wearable brown. Like this is a good wearable brown. And then the last gloss that I have is from Dose of Colors. This one is in Can You Not? And this is a really beautiful like kind of milky pigmented baby pink. I really like this in the center of my lips. Again, it's one of those colors that I think is so pretty to plump up your lips or tone down a darker lip shade. It is also very pigmented and it's really beautiful because it is so pigmented and it's a little bit sticky, but again, it is very long wearing, which I really like. Let's talk about lip so I have here the Artist Couture Lipstick. This one is in Saucy Gal. This is a true brown beige on my skin tone and I really like this because there's no pink undertones to it there's no cool tone undertones it's just like a true warm wearable light brown and I love this color by itself it's super long wearing it smells great the formula is amazing and they also have a bunch of colors in this line as well but this one is my favorite again just because it is like that true like just wearable everyday brown color and I think it is perfection so these are great it's just a classic cream lipstick that I have been wearing a ton I'm wearing it today and I always top it off with different colors and I just love the way that it looks. It's just like my everyday perfect shade. And then I have two lipsticks from NYX. The first one is the Suede Matte Lipstick. This one is in Dainty Days. So this is really pretty because it's a very wearable, light, kind of pinky nude. I really like wearing this with brown lip liners because I feel like when you mix this in with a brown, it kind of just meshes into like this really beautiful wearable pinky brown and I'm obsessed with it. So this is a great formula. It's matte, but it's very comfortable on the lips. It's super creamy actually, even though it is matte. And then I wanted to mention the NYX Shout Loud Lipsticks. And this one is in the shade A La Mode. Basically, honestly, the same exact color, but the finishes of these are different. So the satin matte, obviously they're a more matte formula. And the Shout Loud Lipsticks are a cream finish. So if you're into like a more creamy lipstick, less matte, you will like these a lot. But these are basically the same exact color. Again, just the finishes are different. And then I have to shout out these e.l.f. lipsticks. So I forget exactly what these are called. Oh, just kidding, they're on here. The Seriously Satin Lipsticks, and this one is in the shade Creme. Just kidding, that was annoying. Cream, creme, however you wanna say it. This is a really, really light, like this is pink. It's funny, because I have so many pinks in here and I'm talking about how I don't love pinks, but Again, it's wearable. It's a good center shade. And I love this with the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Kit. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. If you do the brown lip liners and then you add this right in the center, it is perfection. It looks so good. And this is a good satin lipstick. So it's like kind of like that perfect in between. It's not matte. It's not super creamy. It's just, it's a good finish. And they have a bunch of colors in these, you guys. And these are like, I think two or $3 and they're so pigmented and they're actually a very long wearing lipstick. Surprisingly, I know, shocking because it's so cheap but it's so good and I like how you can actually see the lip color through the packaging so I'm a big fan they have brighter reds which I've tried before and I think are beautiful so this is just that great center shade color that I love now we are getting into liquid lipsticks and then we'll be all done right that wasn't 
that wasn't too bad. <laughs> Let's talk about the drugstore ones and then I'll end off with some high end. So I have the CoverGirl Outlast Ultimate Liquid Lipstick and I actually just discovered this last week but I wanted to throw it in here because it is so long wearing and I was actually very pleased. I mean it didn't last through like eating but I it definitely is a kiss proof lip product and this color in Love You Mocha is a great again just topper shade that you could wear with like any brown lip liner. It's so nice also because again it is kiss proof. Every time I kiss Hector when he comes over work he usually always gets lip color all over him my gloss my lipstick so it's a nice change to be able to kiss him and not have to worry about lip color flying everywhere so it's a great color I really like the formula of it too it feels very lightweight it just almost feels like nothing on your lips it's not drying I just love the fact that this is kiss proof it just makes me happy because a lot of these aren't to be honest like if you're kissing your significant other you're bound to get lip color on them so it's nice to have something like that if you guys have any kiss proof lip colors let me know then I love the NYX suede cream lipsticks I don't know why more people don't talk about these but these are everything this one's in the shade sandstorm so it goes really well with the lip liner that I mentioned NYX does that a lot they have a lot of like lipsticks and like liquid lipsticks that kind of match with their lip liners so it's like good to be able to have that combo this is again that cool toned kind of pinky mauvey tone beige shade which I think is beautiful in the fall time or even in the winter this is a very pigmented comfortable liquid lipstick it dries down matte but it's like it's really nice it actually feels just like it says like a cream lipstick it feels like a lipstick it doesn't actually feel like a liquid lipstick but it's a very pigmented like a liquid lipstick which I love because it is very long wearing as well but it's not drying so yeah I love this as well this is beautiful it's a great cool tone nude and we're gonna end off with some dose of colors which I love so I have two colors that I love supernatural and let's cuddle so let's cuddle is more of like a lighter kind of peachy nude I feel like it's a great summer shade again you could switch up the color make it fit like whatever kind of look you're doing just with your lip liner so if you have a lip color that might look a little crazy add some lip liner to it and I'm telling you it makes such a difference I cannot do my lip color without lip liner unless I'm doing a really natural lip gloss like the color pop one that I talked about earlier but like in general, I feel like this is a great lip color that you could use with a brown lip liner because it's a little bit more warm. It's peachy, so it's beautiful with like a brown lip liner. And then the shade Supernatural is really nice also because this is like a true nude that I think could work like any time of year with any look. It's like that classic shade. These are also two shades that I personally wouldn't wear on their own no matter what. Like I mentioned, I always like to wear a lip liner with all of my products because it is so light and very, very nude on me. This is also a really long wearing, beautiful formula. It feels very velvety on the lips. It's not very drying. So yeah, Supernatural and Let's Cuddle. They're my two favorite shades. I think that they're so beautiful, especially Supernatural. This is a great nude. So that completes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. These are all of my go-to nude lip combos. I know that I kept kind of saying the same thing with a lot of them, but I promise you they're all a little bit different. They might all look very similar, but they have a little bit of differences to it, different tones, different finishes. But I love these all, and I will link them all for you guys down below in the description box if you're interested. Don't forget to leave me your favorites, any Holy Grail lip colors, lip combos, that you have drugstore high end leave me a comment because i'm all about the nudes so leave me your faves thank you guys so much for everything i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and i will see you very soon in my next video bye